Hi students, welcome back to this video. Now we are going to continue the uh, remaining part of the book back exercises. Uh, let us start with uh, number 4. Okay. Or add im or in to each of the following words and use them in place of the italicized words in the sentences given below. So we have to add uh, prefixes im or in, im or in with the word have been given in the box. Okay, patient, proper, possible, sensitive, competent. These are the words have been given in the box. We have to add prefixes im or in uh, which is more appropriate to make some meaning uh, in the in place of the italicized word uh, which has been given in the sentences okay uh, let us start with the first one the project appears very difficult at first sight but it can be completed if we work very hard okay so um, here we have to see which word are italicized, which words are italicized, okay. See the differences, very difficult, okay, very difficult are being italicized, okay. So we have to remove this word in, in that place, we have to fix the uh, more, we fix more appropriate word instead of very difficult. Okay, let us see which word can be very suitable to this word. The project appears very difficult at first sight. On the project, the first time work was very customer but it can be completed if we work hard. But number one, the hard work panna complete panna mudiyu opening kerala. The sentence or exact meaning. Okay, so we have to uh, change very difficult uh, and also we have to place some other word by using the words which has been given in the Back, uh, box okay so very difficult which word can be more uh, more uh, appropriate possible is the word has been given in the box so if you add i am impossible okay impossible impossible is the correct word to uh, place the uh, uh, very difficult okay the, for example the project appears impossible at first sight okay uh, so we have removed very difficult and we have added impossible okay possible is the word box word and we have added prefix im okay to make some uh, sensible sentence okay the project appears impossible at first sight but it can be completed if we work very hard okay now let us move on to the second one he lacks competence that is why he can't keep any job for more than a year okay he lacks competence he lacks competence that is why he can't keep any job for more than a year எந்த ஒரு வேலையும் அவரால் ஒரு வருஷத்துக்கு மேல இருக்க முடியல அதுதான் இந்த சென்டென்ஸோட மீனிங் ஓகே ஹி லேக்ஸ் கம்பீட்டன்ஸ் இஸ் த இட்டாலிசைஸ்ட் வேர்ட் ஓகே ஆக்சுவலி இட்டாலிசைஸ்ட் வேர்ட்ஸ் லேக்ஸ் கம்பீட்டன்ஸ் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு ரிமூவ் திஸ் லேக்ஸ் கம்பீட்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு ஃபிக்ஸ் த கரெக்ட் வேர்ட் கரெக்ட் வேர்ட் ஃப்ரம் த பாக்ஸ் கிவன் அண்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு மேக் ப்ராப்பர் சென்சிபிள் சென்டென்ஸ் ஓகே ஹி லேக்ஸ் கம்பீட்டன்ஸ் so lacks competence uh, as i as i told you it i says to words okay so which word can be suitable to replace this uh, phrase okay lacks competence let us see uh, competence here also competent okay competence competent lacks competence competence so if you add I N with the competent incompetent okay just opposite of competent lacks competence uh, incompetent almost similar meaning so we can make like this he is incompetent okay he is incompetent that is why he can't keep any job for more than a year okay he is incompetent 
that is why he can't keep any job for more than a year third one don't lose patience uh, your letter will come one day the postman told me okay so don't uh, lose patience lose patience is the uh, italicized words or the italicized words so we have to change this uh, phrase okay um, don't lose patience patience okay uh, see, see patient okay patient patience so don't don't be impatient okay don't be impatient don't be impatient your letter will come one day the postman told me lose patience means um okay don't lose your letter will come one day you will get that letter postman in the sentence or meaning but we have to change that lose patience we have to add don't be uh, don't be impatient at the same meaning okay similar meaning don't be impatient your letter will come one day the postman told me okay fourth one that is not a proper remark to make under the circumstances um, not a proper remark not a proper abdingirana uh, italicized words remark ingirundha uh, correct ah irukku okay italicized word ingirundha not a proper not a proper so not a proper idhukku badala nama enna use pannalam proper alladhu irukku not a proper na improper abdingirundha correct ah irukum okay that is improper that is improper that is an improper yeah proper irukku so inga improper use panna porom in abdingirundha E vowel, so that is an improper remark to make under the circumstances that okay that is that is an improper remark to make under the circumstances next one he appears he appears to be without sensitivity in fact he is very emotional okay without sensitivity without sensitivity idukku badala sensitive word use pannala okay abadi sensitive oda which word can which uh, prefix can be suitable la insensitive without sensitivity abingirudho insensitive abingirudho same meaning so we can use insensitive in the in place of without sensitivity okay he appears to be insensitive okay in fact he is very emotional okay now fifth one read the following sentences okay read the following sentences it was a cold morning and stars still glow in the sky okay an old man was walking along the road okay read the following sentences it was a cold morning and stars still glowed in the sky an old man was walking along the road have you all understood now uh, let us continue okay the words in italics or articles say it was a cold morning and stars are stars still glowed in the sky a cold morning the sky old man an old man was walking along the road these are all are articles articles already we discussed uh, in the previous in the previous uh, videos um, and also in the previous year also we studied articles very elaborately okay we, we can bring that knowledge to make uh, complete this sentences okay it was a cold morning and stars still glowed in the sky and old man was walking along the road okay the words in italics are articles a and an are indefinite article okay already we uh, studied about articles when we studied we came to know that there are two different type type of articles one is definite article and another one is indefinite article okay a and an are indefinite articles and there is definite article okay 
A and an are indefinite articles and the is the definite article. A is used before a singular countable noun. So look at this very very carefully. This will be very helpful when you make a correct sentences. Okay, when you make, if you want to make a proper sentence without making any mistake, we have to have must have a good knowledge in articles. Okay, so look at this. Uh, just listen. This a is used before a singular countable noun. Where can a is used? Where can a be used? Bring pathing na a abring kada. ஒரு ஆர்டிகல் ஏ இஸ் யூஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் அ சிங்குலர் கவுண்டபுள் நவுன் எங்க ஏ யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் பிஃபோர் சிங்குலர் கவுண்டபுள் நவுன் ஓகே அங்க ஏ யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் ஆன் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் அ வேர்ட் தட் பிகின்ஸ் வித் எ வவல் ஓகே ஆன் கேன் பி யூஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் பிஃபோர் வவல் ஓகே ஆன் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் அ வேர்ட் தட் பிகின்ஸ் வித் எ வவல் ஆக்சுவலி வவல் சவுண்ட் லெட் அஸ் ஸ்பீக் a boy a mango a university an actor an apple and our okay uh, these are some examples has having given in the box see a boy boy singular and also it's a common noun singular noun okay sing it is singular so we have used a okay A is used before a singular countable noun. Okay. A எங்க யூஸ் பண்ணோம்னா இந்த noun வந்து singular noun ஆ இருக்கணும். அப்புறம் countable noun ஆ இருக்கணும். நம்ம countable noun னா உங்களுக்கு தெரியும்ல 1 2 3 we can count that noun. Okay. Boy. அப்படினா ஒரு boy. Okay. So we can count it. Okay. Uh, mangoes. Okay. Mangoes அப்படினா plural ஆயிடும். Mango. Mango னா we can count mango. Okay. Uh, so we can uh, use a yeah, mango here boy is the noun the boy is a singular noun and also we can count that so it is also countable noun so we have used with a okay have you understood next one mango mango uh, singular okay mango is a singular singular noun and also countable noun we can count it so that's why we have used a university university also singular now singular and also it is countable noun so we have used a see actor actor uh, a vowel sound actor actor it starts with the vowel sound so we have uh, used an okay see apple apple again it starts with the vowel sound that's why we have used an our okay our we have added an because see here we have to listen very carefully here it starts with the h h okay our but when you pronounce the word our we cannot say our but we we, we would say our okay our we starts with the a uh, it is a vowel sound so we have used word an even though the uh, word our starts with the h okay this is not a vowel word but it's consonant even though it is a consonant we have added an because the sound of the in uh, the initial sound of the word the initial sound of the word is vowel that is why we have added an okay see the difference we, we how we how would we read this send uh, this word our okay we we, we won't pronounce h okay but we use a okay our so when you say our it could be an not a okay not a so we we have to use an an our okay so use a an or the in the blanks there are some blanks we have to fill that blanks there was once play okay play uh, again uh, play it's a singular and also countable so there was once a play 
which became very successful play na inga vandu or nadaga nu solla there was once a play which be- became very successful uh, a famous actor a famous actor was acting in it okay a famous actor was acting in it in in, in the play his role was in the play his that here okay in the play his role was that of an aristocrat okay an aristocrat an aristocrat because it starts with the vowel sound so an aristocrat who had been imprisoned imprisoned present in a castle okay a castle for 20 years a castle for 20 years in the last actually in here we have to use that okay in the last act of the play see here we, we have used the because cardinals ardinals should be added with the the okay in the last act of the play here we have used the yeah play here but we have used the what's the difference okay same word play here also play but here we have added the but not here but here we have added yeah what is the difference let us see the first time when i use play we don't know which play okay we don't know which play indefinite okay but again i'm talking about the same play so here it is definite okay first time when i use the word play we don't know which play we are talking about so that is why we uh, that is why we added yeah play but next time when i use the when i refer the same play we have to uh, we are uh, definite we have we have to use definite article because i am mentioning the same play okay so that's why we have added the the first time use pandra pa a use pannu second time use pandra pa da use pannu yeah first time a use pannu na na play pathi first time pesren okay yeah play appo undu endha play pathi pesrom theriyad but second time and the play pathi pesum bodu da use pandra na inga undu da ngiradhu definite article a ngiradhu indefinite article okay appo undu nammalku edhume definite kedaiyadu appa a use pannu but ippo undu definite aayiduchu ena na pesrathu andha oru play pathi app adanaala the castle use pannu okay in the castle for 20 years okay in the last act in the last act of the play so again the play someone would come on the stage okay come on come on the stage because the play already we introduced the play so with the play happens on the stage on the stage with a letter which we which he would hand over to the prisoner okay even though even though the aristocrat even though the aristocrat was not expected to read the letter at each performance he always insisted that the letter be written out from beginning to end okay so that this is the way you have to fill the blanks so there are two different types of articles one is definite article another one is indefinite article definite articles um, article is the indefinite articles are a and and we have to uh, use the those uh, articles in the correct place appropriate places okay next one and circle the correct article so already we discussed something about article so you have to you can make uh, this uh, exercises by your own okay so do you try to do it yourself okay let us continue in the next video in the remaining part will be discussed in the next video okay thank you